not so long time ago. In a galaxy quite close, actually. There lived an evil professor who hated pigs, so he stole all the pigs from Earth and banished them onto a pink planet. He was a very smart professor, so he knew the pigs trumped a lot. And in their trumps, there's a gas called methane. So by putting them all in, onto the same planet, he knew the weight of the pigs' trumps would make the planet explode. Fear not, however, NASA and their smart scientists to the rescue. They decided to send their best astronaut up to save them. His name was Darren. However, en route to the pink planet, he crashed into the donut planet. And would you know it, it was raining hundreds of thousands. Darren's spaceship suffered damage from the crash and all hope looked lost. That was until Darren met the residents of the donut planet. Many aliens who, much to the astronaut's surprise, looked rather human-like. In fact, some might say they looked very much like young humans just wearing something silly on their head. The friendly aliens helped fix Darren's rocket ship and he flew to the pink planet to save the pigs. He flew past the Doodle Tootle planet, Cuckoo Clock planet, the BTS planet, the Kinetic Sand Planet, the Glitter Bomb Planet, the Strawberry Planet, the Spaghetti Planet, the Terry's Chocolate Orange Planet, the Beige Planet, the Sprinkle Planet, the Christmas Planet, the Potato Planet, the Swirly Wordy Planet, the Water Planet, the Butterfly Planet, the Cotton Candy Planet, the orange planet and the cow planet. Darren finally lands on the pink planet, which was as pink as strawberry ice cream. Once on the pink planet, Darren started to move the pigs towards his ship and safety until eventually the last pig was on board. Back on Earth, it, and the, all the evil professor could do was watch on with anger as his plan had been defeated. The professor cried as Darren's spaceship it took off from the planet in the nick of time. The pink planet exploded, but thankfully the pigs were all safe. Darren, the astronaut, returned home to Earth to a hero's welcome from the NASA team. The pigs got to live a wonderful life on a beautiful farm where they were able to tramp all day long if they wanted. But what happened to the evil professor, I hear you ask? Well, let's just say he'll behind he'll be behind bars for the next 10 years for pig napping.